Hello guys, uh, today I am Vishal with a great personality who secured a good rank in gate examination and today we will know about her journey of the preparation and we will ask so many questions related to gate exam preparation. So congratulations for achieving an amazing rank in the gate 2023 examination and I would like to uh, welcome you in this video session where you will share uh, your journey, your struggle and a lot of things related to your gate uh, one year's journey. So uh, what, what is your name and where have you done your engineering from? First of all, thank you, sir. I am Aishwarya. I am from Kerala. I completed BE in Biotechnology from PA College of Engineering, Mangalore, Karnataka. Great. Which paper of GATE you appeared in and what was your rank, GATE score and marks in GATE 2023? So, I appeared for GATE Biotechnology and I scored 79.67 marks and secured All India rank 1 with a GATE score of 1000. Amazing. How many times have you attempted the GATE exam? So, this is my third attempt. Third attempt. So, uh, can you share your uh, first attempt score rank and second attempt score and rank? Okay. So, first I wrote in 2021. That was without any preparation. It was just, it, I just qualified. Like, I got um, 448 marks. And then in the second, it was in 2022 and I scored 488 marks. And now this time I scored 1000. Amazing. It's unbelievable. You, you know, you jump from 0 to 100. Amazing. It's really a great journey. So now when you decided that you want to attempt GATE exam as a serious career option, when did you start preparing for GATE 2023? Uh, properly. I started the preparation from 21 but uh, you told that without any preparation you just qualified those exams but uh, when you took uh, the gate as a serious career option and you started for gate 2023 i uh, like i started to prepare only after completing the engineering course like after fourth year i thought of going for research and like doing for mtech so i thought i should prepare for gate examination Okay, okay. So it's like two, okay. one and a half years, two years of preparation. Okay, so uh, uh, one more question uh, is in my mind, like uh, uh, why you choose uh, biotechnology as a, your career option? You know, there there were uh, so many options in front of you when you, uh, you were going to in the college for the admission, like computer science, mechanical engineering, a lot of things. But you choose as, as a career option, biotechnology. So what was the reason behind choosing the biotechnology? Actually, I'm interested in engineering, but I also like biology. So like the, uh, it is like an interdisciplinary course of biology and engineering. That's why I took this course. Okay, okay. that's why you uh, took that course. Yeah. How did you choose GATE over the other career options such as CAT, private sector, and so many other jobs? Why you choose only the GATE, not CAT and not any other things and all, not UPSC and all? Actually, uh, I'm always interested in going into research field. So for me, higher education was the option. And so after engineering, I thought of doing MTech. And I also always dreamed to get into a good college like IIT or IIC. So uh, GATE was the best option for me. Okay. So now let's talk about the difficulty levels of the GATE. As you uh, are old student of uh, GATE examination, you uh, appeared in 21, then 22, and now in 23. So if you will compare all those three years paper of GATE, then uh, what was the difficulty level according to you? If you will compare uh, all three years paper. According to me, I think it was not easy, but not too difficult. It was like moderate. I think that this year, a lot of numerical questions came. So uh, uh, for me, numerical part was strength. That's why I think I, I am able to score like this mark. Okay, okay, okay. That's really good. So uh, 
I would like to ask that you uh, took find my test uh, test series uh, for the gate biotechnology preparation. So how find my test series helped you? Can you sh share uh, something about it? Yes, uh, the test series from, from find my test really helped me a lot. Um, because there are topic wise tests, subject wise tests, and also there are full length mock tests, which is like almost 15 full length mock tests, which really helped me a lot. By doing a lot of mock tests, we get to we get to know our strength, we can analyze ourselves. And also the main part is like, we, we learn to manage the time during these three hours, we, we get familiar to like focusing on these three hours continuously and that really helped me a lot in the exam. Great. So uh, uh, which books did you follow for gate preparation? Please name some very important books. Actually, uh, you know, there are so many coaching, so many test series. Any student can buy any uh, test series, any course, anything else from the online sources. But who is not uh, uh, capable to buy uh, those things like uh, uh, anybody's if anybody's uh, financial condition is not good and he's a very weak in the financial condition then such type of students how can prepare for the gate biotechnology and what do you think is it possible to crack the gate examination without any premium sources or is it uh, is it possible to uh, crack the gate uh, with only self study with some free sources. So can you share some uh, thought about uh, free sources and some books name so students can note down and can start prepare if they are not able to pay the fees to the coaching center series. Okay, so I personally, I took a coaching, uh, like I took a paid course, but like there are a lot of uh, information in the YouTube online, like Wikipedia, you can go and search um, and also if you're planning like you are doing self-study I would say you should have a proper strategy on how to like completing the course within the given given time and like there are a lot of YouTube videos you can watch through that personally I did not study like the, I did not read this big big textbooks because it was a it was difficult for me for, for me uh, I think lecture videos and like videos really help me to understand the things more easily but like there are uh, books like uh, biotechnology a problem approach by pathfinder publications then for bioprocess there is doran and then for immunology qb is there and biochemistry leninger like these are the few books i referred Okay. And what are some important topics that should be specially focused by the gate aspirant to qualify, at least uh, they can qualify if they can read uh, those topics. So please uh, share uh, those topics name so student can prepare at least those topics to qualify the exam. Yeah, I would say that if you're focusing just to qualify, you should definitely study the bioprocess subject because a lot of questions come from that. And, and that also numerical part, numerical part, so you don't have to worry about the negative marking also. So bioprocess and also don't skip max, even if you are a biology student, I think max is a really scoring subject. And then biochemistry, molecular biology and RDNA technology are like important topics, subjects. So now the next question is very important and it's really, uh great question for all those uh, students who are preparing for any of the exams you know so uh ashwarya please share your revision strategy the revision is a very important part of the any exam preparation we uh, studied we study in all the year every month every day but when the exams comes near then uh, everything starts forgetting in our mind and you know uh, we lost a lot of things uh, so uh, what was your revision strategy, how you re revise the, uh, each chapter day by day or weekly? What was your revision strategy and what was your planning for the revision for whole year? Okay, so as Sir said, revision is really important. Even if you understand the concept, if you did not touch it for like one week, you just forget it. Forget it. So... I used to make short notes like I would write like the important formulas and points in a 
separate book and then i would try to revise it every day as possible like uh, from at the morning beginning of the day i would sit and revise and try to recall all those formulas and if i couldn't i will go back and make sure that i won't forget it in the next time okay so uh, one question is off topic like uh, uh, जो रिविजन स्ट्रेटेजी ऐश्वर्या तुमने बताई कि यू लर्न लॉट ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज एंड ऑल ऑल द थिंग्स बट इन ऑल डेज लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स यूज द मेथड लाइक दे राइट दे नोट डाउन ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स ऑन द पेपर एंड वो उसको वॉल पे चिपका देते थे सो आपने भी कुछ ऐसा किया कि आपके रूम की सभी वॉल पे द फॉर्मूला शीट्स एंड नोट्स एंड ऑल ऑल एंड वेन यू वॉक अप इन द मॉर्निंग then uh, you revise like uh, uh, like uh, tumne kuch aisa kiya ya same jo abhi tumne bataya sirf wohi kiya yeah i i would write the important points in a sticky note and stick it on the wall so that we don't have to take the notebook again and again it's like in front so we will try to recall it every three time right right okay that that's really great what was your strategy for attempting questions in the exam like uh, if we uh, we are scoring like uh, uh, good marks in test series every week but when we go to the exam hall then the you know the environment is totally different for uh, us like pure saal apan ne acche se preparation ki acche marks test series mein aa rahe hain but exam mein jab when we saw the when we see the paper और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ही अगर अपन को नहीं आता है देन यू कैन थिंक द व्हाट विल बी द प्रेशर ऑन आवर माइंड लाइक व्हाट विल बी हैपन इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल सो व्हाट वाज योर स्ट्रेटजी फॉर अटेम्प्टिंग क्वेश्चंस इन एग्जाम एंड पेपर के साथ एग्जाम टाइम में कैसे तुमने डील किया बिल्कुल पॉजिटिव uh, माइंड के साथ सो प्लीज शेयर समथिंग अबाउट दैट टाइम okay i think like doing a lot of mock tests really prepared me for that day like even if the first question is a bit tough i would think i would not panic i would stay calm and i'm like okay this is the first question let let's go to the next question if if any question requires a little bit more time or is a little bit confusing that i'm not sure about i will just skip and go to the next question for me like uh, solving the biotech part first and then the aptitude really helped me so that i i could manage the time so first if i know the uh, answer for sure i will mark it or i will go to the next question and like after going for one round i will come back again and revisit the questions that are uh, like that i left and i will rethink about it so that uh, that really helped me to manage the time during the exam that's really great and what was your daily time table like uh, when you uh, if uh, if you talk about your first month of the preparation then how you prepared all the uh, schedule of each week every day and every month so please share something about your schedule of uh, study or the time table okay so i started the preparation like properly during like in the month of july and at the beginning of the uh, preparation i used to study just like 4 to 5 hours a day i would watch the lectures and i would uh, like make notes of it then after two uh, like one month i started to do the previous year question papers of the topic that i ha i have studied and then later on i increased the time to like 6 to 8 hours a day and the first thing i would do is the revision itself every day i would revise the short notes which are stick on the wall <laughs> and like that i made and yeah that's it i i used to study for 6 to 8 hours and like by december i completed the whole syllabus and then i started to do the mock tests and the previous year question papers like i would sit for 3 3 hours as of like in the actual gate exam and i would may i would prepare myself for that 3 hours how to focus and concentrate in that 3 hours properly that's really great and uh, uh, is there any role of yoga exercises in uh, your uh, preparation लाइक पूरे ईयर तुमने काफी मेहनत करी सो थोड़ा सा टाइम क्या तुमने योगा को भी दिया एक्सरसाइजेस को भी दिया क्या इन चीजों का भी रोल है तुम्हारी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन की इस जर्नी में 
Yeah, no yoga, but I used to do half an hour of exercise because I'm just sitting for the whole day, right? I'm doing nothing. And also my family really supported me. They did not make me to do any work other than study. Yeah, so for like one, half an hour, 45 minutes, I would do the workout, which really helped me to boost my mood. And I would sit again to study. And what about your sleep? Like uh, how... Uh, like you sleep sleep uh, sleep for six hours or seven hours and what was your sleep sleep for complete eight or nine hours sometimes <laughs> because only if i sleep properly i can do better the next day okay and what about the sleep before the before a week of exam yeah i was a little bit stressed i couldn't sleep properly but uh, yeah, but like the one day before of the exam, uh, I tried to make self, myself calm because I know I have prepared a lot. I believed in myself that I could perform properly and I tried to sleep properly that day. So, so time that you will be the first ranker of biotechnology paper? <laughs> no. Even, if, even after checking the score, like we get the response sheet, right? So I calculated, but I was not sure that I will get first rank. But but you, you were sure that uh, top 100 may I will be there, right? I was sure of that, but I was not sure that I will get first rank. I, I was really surprised to see. Wow. So it's an amazing uh, hard work uh, done by you. It's really appreciable. So any suggestion for gate BT student uh, aspirants uh, for the gate 24 preparation? Okay, so I would say that believe in yourself, like you do your best you can, just study and hard, do the hard work, like be consistent and focus on the important topics, like the scoring subject a lot. Like for, if you can uh, score a lot of marks by studying just one subject, it is good, right? So you have to focus the scoring part first and then uh, study if you have time study the other subject as well and yeah believe in yourself that's the first thing and yeah success will be yours yeah so guys you have to believe yourself and you have to be very calm during the preparation of the exam and thank you so much Ashwarya and congratulations once again to you and your family and it was not possible without the support of family. So once again, I would like to thanks to your whole family members uh, who uh, gives you a, uh, who gave you a lot uh, support and power to prepare very well. So thank you so much, Eshwarya, and thank you for giving your valuable time to us. And thank you so much. Thank you so much.